Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So it's gonna be a collective, general, community, community group reading for you guys today. So if you have something on your mind or a question, go ahead and think about that. It's gonna be a love reading. Remember, energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so just take it how it resonates and forget. Forget what doesn't resonate. I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody who's donated to the channel, ordered personal readings, and supported the channel in that way. Your energy donations are awesome, and I appreciate it. If you'd like the readings to potentially resonate more with you, hit the like button. Otherwise, just hit the like button to support the channel and subscribe. That also supports the channel and keeps me coming back to do more readings for you guys. But yeah, interacting with the reading in some way is a way to put your energetic touch on the reading to help it to resonate more for you. We've got workplace romance. Somebody here could be dealing with somebody in the workplace, have a crush on somebody in the workplace, romantically involved with somebody in the workplace, or vice versa, they have that on you. If not in the workplace, common cause connection. There's something that you have together, something in common. We've got falling in love, sudden feelings that this could be the one. So if this is, hasn't happened yet, it could be coming in your future, guys. Falling in love soon. And sudden feelings that this could be the one. There's a realization associated with that part of somebody realizing something. We've got responsibilities, romance interrupted, duties come first. So there you go. Maybe you can't be together as much as you want to because one or both of you has responsibilities or you have to keep it hush-hush because of the environment or the responsibilities in the connection or that are affecting the connection, but it doesn't change the fact that there is a sudden feeling that, you know, there is more to this than meets the eye, that this is deeper than maybe what it started out to be or what one once thought. Open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. So it could be that somebody opened their heart to the fact that this could be a lasting love. This is your true love. So at some point there's a realization or there's realization coming that someone is your true love or they're realizing that about you. I'm immediately drawn to get messages for, from you guys, from this person, whoever they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me again. You're going to have to bear with me. I'm a little under the weather. We've got Taurus energy. I feel I can give you amazing advice that will improve your life if you follow it. That's also Hierophant, so that does show like a difference in status. Like maybe this is your boss or you're their boss or there's some sort of supervisorship or some sort of mentorship. Either way, bottom line, you could take the message at face value. This is somebody that feels like they can give you great advice if you'll you'll follow it. So that does indicate like somebody that feels like they're in a position to advise you or help you. I've endured such trying times with you and have not given up. So nine of wands energy. This person's feeling like, you know, whatever the relationship has been through, that they're not giving up. You know, it looks like it's been so hard for so long that maybe this person, um, you know, has had to be very strong um, or you both have had to be very strong. But they're not giving up, you know, there might be this relationship's at the end of its rope, but this person's saying that they have not given up yet. We've got sun energy with um, this card here. Your radiance attracts everyone like moths to a flame. I'm so happy to have your positive light in my life. So this is showing that you bring positivity to this person. I'm hearing that song, you know, you, you light up my life. You give me hope to carry on. You light the way. So this is this energy of this person feeling like that. And then I'm drawn to the light that is on this card as well. Showing like the light is embracing this connection. So spirit is embracing this connection. And this person feels like that when they're with you. Like this is a spiritual connection that, you know, you bring light into their life. Okay. Let's get some tarot cards on this and see, you know, more about what's going on here. going to use the movie tarot. I'm definitely picking up on some boss energy. getting the death energy here scorpionic so um that's also 13 so 13 could have significance reduces to a four stability consistency work so very strong work energy coming through here 
and maybe it's something that maybe some of you have thought is over um, others of you know that it isn't over even though maybe it has experienced some sort of transformation big change some sort of death as the card death means transformation change ending new beginning but it does look like that hasn't happened and what I'm feeling is like that hasn't happened okay even if it looks like that that hasn't happened there could be some stagnation there could be some some sort of letdown or just energy feels stuck that could be how you're feeling about it then we've got the moon energy here so lack of clarity confusion some troubled waters here but it's not as troubling as it might seem. That's what I'm getting. I do feel like there's an end to troubles here. So either this end to troubles has occurred or it will occur. Okay? Because it feels like maybe there's some unseen problems. It's, for some of you, this is a volunteer op opportunity or you know this person through volunteer work or something like that. Something that you both like had volunteered to do in some way. I feel like there has been a block to intuition with regard to this on one or both of your ends like trying to figure out what this means and everything but I see clarity coming or clarity has already come okay you're here at the reading because you want more clarity though so it feels like it's coming some of you could have been connecting with this person in your dreams so there's a message in your dreams about this connection that can let you know some things We've got the Seven of Swords. Getting that this person doesn't feel like they have enough to offer you, especially like monetarily, or they're not grown up enough, or there's just some sort of stagnation, some sort of outside interference perhaps. Bottom line, person's self-esteem isn't great. Okay, so they feel like this person actually comes across as having, you know, bigger feelings for you than what they're letting on. It feels like this person feels nurturing towards you. They want to be supportive of you. They feel like you are a healing presence. We already saw that they feel like you're radiant, that you're positive. So if they're not showing their true feelings, they're being sneaky about that. They're not showing their true feelings on purpose, okay? They're being dishonest about the way that they truly feel. And it feels like that has to do with just some sort of trouble in the situation. Somebody could have a troublemaking child. <laughs> just putting that out there. Not for everybody, obviously, general reading. But um, I'm also getting like problems in the workplace or problems with whatever this connection is, common cause, whatever the common cause is, or even in their own individual life, there's like some sort of um, trouble in the workplace or some sort of trouble that is somehow affecting this. Or this person feels like it does affect it, would affect it, could have been I'm just getting problems here I'm also getting that this person you know that's all I'm getting with that one right now okay so let's look at the outcome where's this going what's gonna happen what does the viewer need to know We've got the Queen of Swords. So whoever the feminine is in this situation, she's going to get what she wants. Now we all have masculine and feminine within us, so it's up to you to determine who is who. But the majority who watch my channel are feminines, so it's like saying that you're going to get what you want. And so you're going to win, is what I'm hearing. Uh, you could have strong air in your chart, don't have to, but... Um, you know, it is the Queen of Swords, so it's not the warmest and fuzziest of energy, not going to lie. It is... Someone who has been through a lot turn their pain into power and things like that. But you're just going to do what's best for you and everyone else is going to have to deal with it. Okay. So this person, I can see why maybe they're not being authentic. Like if they feel like they don't have enough to offer you, 
and they're trying to just put their best foot forward or just show you what they want you to see because they're trying to cover up who they really are or who they feel that they are like that that would be because the queen of swords is somebody that has a very strong sense of self you know she you could even be the boss in the situation okay if not technically you're just this is the energy coming in so for the masculines watching this could be the person that is coming in or that you're dealing with um, and this is the type of person that's not going to put up with any kind of um, smothering or indecisive or un unambitious individuals in her life. She is very intelligent. She doesn't suffer fools easily. She's like the king of swords, but the feminine version. <laughs> They're very similar. She's very passionate. She has a very passionate and tender heart underneath. Okay. She can be a bit intimidating. So if you guys are not in this energy of being intimidating or whatnot... Uh, I feel like you're turning over a new leaf. I think you're just tired of things not going your way. Got the Hierophant. Hierophant energy again. And it could just be... Yeah, this energy here. Strong Earth Sun energy getting Capricorn as well. You're standing up to this person, standing up to, to tradition, standing up to expectations or what's expected of you. You know, it's affecting your, you or your love life in a way that, you know, you're not pleased with. You have complaints about. You're not feeling like you're getting, you know, what you're owed or what's due to you in the relationship or in the situation. And so you do feel like it has to do with this person, this hierophant energy, which is hierarchical hierarchical talking about something you know someone in charge someone that has um like the moral high ground or takes the moral high ground you know and like your person said they feel like they can give you good advice if you'll listen but you're just kind of done with it like you just want you just don't feel like maybe you feel this person's kind of full of it and uh And you're working on standing up to yourself and like being heard and not just like maybe taking this person down a notch or feel like, you know, that's what needs to happen and you're going to stand up for yourself and you're not going to let this person kind of preach to you or tell you anything. Like you're going to stand up to this person and you're going to win. You're going to get what you want out of the situation. Like what, and this person, this hierophant, whoever they are is just going to have to deal with it. Because... I am getting this energy of they're younger than you, if not younger than you, then they just have like a lack of maturity or they just see themselves as less than you in some way, even though they're coming across as the Hierophant energy. So even like if in some realms of their life, like at work or whatever they do, they could be like higher up on the pedestal, but they're getting knocked off the pedestal or like with you, they're put in their place. With you, they don't feel adequate enough. So you can reflect on that and what that could potentially mean for the future of your relationship or what's going on. But let's get some guidance from the romance angels. What does the viewer need to hear right now? We've got flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have you deserve love and passion. Then we've got religious factors. So there could be some sort of spiritual or re religious connection or that has some impact on the relationship in some way, shape, or form with the higher fit and religious factors card. But I do feel like this is coming out for a reason because a lot of you are in this Queen of Swords energy, very stern energy. Even though you've got a soft heart, it's like you uh, are very fierce and you would like um you know kick the butt of anyone who hurts you or even hurts anybody close to you and you know she is not like i said before the warmest and fuzziest of energies although some will be happy that it means that you know you're going to choose yourself and everyone will out, else will have to deal with it and i don't know your story maybe you have very good reasons for being in this energy maybe this is what you have to do to get what you want it's unfortunate that sometimes you have to be really strong cold and assertive to get what's what's owed to you to get you know your due to get the respect that you require but um sometimes that's just the case but what spirit is coming through is saying to be flirtatious extend your lighthearted energy to others so be a little bit flirt flirtatious be a little bit softer you know don't be so stern see how she's sitting so straight upright and then she's kind of slouching there 
and it just shows like an example of you know soft softening yourself and because you deserve love maybe there's some energy here that makes you feel like you know maybe you don't deserve love or that you have to always fight for love or go after it or just whatever and it's saying you are lovable somebody needs to hear that then we've got passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so allow yourself that passion to get swept up in the moment you know um follow your passions as well it doesn't always have to be about romance but it is telling you at the very least to follow your heart and allow your heart to be open and to sing with joy and to feel passion and love and joy within it. And the Queen of Swords has got her heart usually protected. So it's saying like to open your heart a bit, be more lighthearted, give yourself the love that you're seeking. And your love life is influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path. So it looks like this is part of uh, like the religious um, slash spiritual lessons being learned here is how to deal with people who are different from you in a way that um, helps you just you know serve yourself so it's not always about another person and also about getting like equal give and take in a situation so that people are you know interacting in a fair way with one another so that both parties are getting what's owed and what's due to them you know so that it's equal give and take so that's what's going on and what's being taught here Okay, this is what I've got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in for your general reading, for your collective reading. Um, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you'd like a private reading, my contact information is in the description box down below. I appreciate you. And yeah, check out my intention candles that are linked down below as well. And I hope that was helpful. I intend the best for you guys, and I will talk to you next time.